Hello and welcome to another episode of the uh, Cobra Daytona build. On this episode, I'm going to go into a my drop trunk fabrication. So as you can see with the big X brace here, I don't have the room to kind of hold into this whole area um, brace to put a, put a big lid. So I'm thinking of something like this, but it's going to be wider. So that way you can put things in back underneath the edges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld in some bars probably from here to here. Um, and then probably from about here to here. Not sure on that yet. I gotta kind of think about this. And then I'm gonna use this product over here, which is a carbon fiber um, honeycomb Nomex uh, sheet. Basically it's used for floorboards on aircraft. I'm gonna use this fiberglass together and make a box out of this. Super lightweight, super strong, and uh, I don't have any aluminum, so this is probably the best way to do it. And then I glass that together and then bolt it into the side of my frame that I'm gonna build. So I think in the end, it probably could work out pretty well. I may come over here, weld in a bar this way, uh, and then do a, a raised trunk. I'm not sure yet, we'll figure that one out. But uh, I'll get started on this and I'll cut up some steel and see what we can do. So what I've done is I've cut some steel here. Steel's gonna get welded into here. So I'm basically gonna make an upper frame for this uh, carbon fiber to screw to, uh, probably the inside. And uh, I'll do the other side back a little ways further so I can clear the, the hump in the gas tank. And this way here, we've got a nice solid structure and this uh, carbon fiber will then sit back. And you said this area here, um, so the area under here will be covered with the aluminum plate so if you want to put anything back there, you're going to have to reach kind of in, but then you can put maybe a jack under there or tools or a jacket or whatever. So then you have a little storage in over here and this will all be kind of more open. So that's kind of my idea. Uh, so I'm going to weld this into place. I'll make another one over into here, probably about right into there somewhere. So we'll cut another piece of steel and uh, we'll burn this in and then we can start cutting some carbon fiber. Got the uh, bars all welded up, as you can see. So now I can build my box around that. Um, I'm actually gonna run the carbon fiber probably all the way to this so I can tap into that for structural strength on the back side, And then we'll run it is there into this one here. We'll glass it right down that edge. So, and then this top will sit into here somewhere. I've got the first piece of carbon fiber cut. I'll actually show you this stuff. Uh, so here's what you can see. It's a honeycomb. Uh, it's actually Nomex honeycomb and carbon fiber. It's not the prettiest carbon fiber. It's really a floorboard, uh, but it is strong. I mean, I don't know if you can bend this stuff or snap it. I mean, it's it dulls a saw blade really fast. So this is going to go in here. So I got to notch out for these upper tubes and then screw into that back one, slide all the way to the top edge, as you can see, and then we'll come forward and then back and make a box and then we'll glass in the bottom. Uh, I think that's probably the best way to do it. And this thing will be uh, rock solid. We got the box done, uh, as you can see, all carbon fiber. You can actually see the, the honeycomb pretty thin, but it is strong. I mean, small little piece. Let me show you this. You can take this small little piece here and try to bust it. And, and I mean, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't bend. It doesn't flex. It's strong. So, so what we'll do now is I'm going to cut a piece out uh, to fit the inside. That'll be the floor and that will go up in there and then we'll glass that thing and I'll drop the fuel tank. Uh, we'll probably screw this thing in, and then we'll glass it in in place, and then we'll drop the whole thing out and finish up laying up uh, layers of fiberglass. Uh, no carbon fiber, just uh, fiberglass, and this thing should be uh, should be a nice little storage area. So I said you'll have this here will open up, and then you'll be able to put stuff you know back over into here and to have this open. So not a huge area, but uh, should be pretty nice. So there we go. Carbon fiber box is all mocked up, so now I gotta glue, I'll glue this, then we can drop the whole thing down, um, and then we can start glassing it up. So what I've done is I've cut the glass up in small little pieces. Might need more, I got a whole bunch here. I'm gonna throw some gloves on. I hate this epoxy resin stuff, this stuff is awful. I 
This wet stuff is just so messy. Just a pain. Okay, I'll get another cup. So what I'll do is I'll match the two, so actually right on a half an ounce. That's it, right on a half an ounce. Okay, so we're looking good. Try to wet it out. See, we don't want to get too wet because then you lose the strength of the glass. There's a fine line, and I'm by no means a fiberglass expert, but I've never have done a lot of fiberglass work, never had anything break, so... I guess that tells me maybe I'm better than I think. I don't know, so I'm gonna go into here. I could have done this whole thing out of aluminum. Continue on putting a little more fiberglass on. We got the box glassed up, as you can see into the corners. Uh, just kind of hold it in place. So once it dries, we'll drop the box down, then we can scuff the edges and we'll glass this whole thing up. Made more progress on our box. So you see we got the, uh, it's out of the car now, it's all glassed up. I got the heater going inside the box. Uh, it's in the low 50s and the epoxy just doesn't want to set up that quick. So I got the heater going here on low, just enough to pull the heat out and I just kind of keep moving it around and just keep, keep the heat in the box. Uh, once this is dried, then we'll flip it over. I'll glass the outer edges, and then we can finish this off on the inside with, uh, you know, carpet or something. But, uh, you know, a little different than the aluminum. Better, worse, I don't know. Just different. So I've got the box um, all built. It's glassed up on the inside, just a small little bit in the outside. So then I've scuffed the entire area so I can lay up more glass around this edge to make this thing really strong. So you can see the inside is uh, all laid up. Just one layer of glass, it's already, I mean, it's it's rock solid. So we're gonna uh, clean it off some acetone, all the outer areas where I did, and then we will uh, mix up some epoxy and we'll throw down some more cloth. I'll show you how that is done and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so we got our epoxy, resin, hardener all set up. So now what we're gonna do is we'll start I'm just going to wet this out. So what we're going to do, we're just going to wet it out. Stick our cloth up on there and let it start soaking in. Okay, so you can see it, it's already starting to soak in. So then we'll just kind of keep working my way around. And this is it, we'll just keep working it around. And then once I get this done, then I'll go through and do the corners. So as you can see, it's all glassed up. So we'll uh, clean up some sandpaper once it's done. Probably get some paint on it. Not sure what I'm going to do yet. Maybe just paint it white like the rest of the stuff. But clean up some of these edges. And we get ourselves a super lightweight, super strong box uh, storage cubby. Different than the aluminum, I uh, just figured something different.